Hello Taurus, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what you need to know to heal from the person that hurt you when it comes to love. I'll also be asking spirit for messages regarding what this person would like for you to know. Cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed. So if you are cross watching, this would be what you need to know to heal as well as what the person that hurt you would like for you to know. All right, so Taurus, I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. And you guys, excuse my voice. I don't know what's going on with it. All right, so the overall energy of what you need to know to heal Taurus is the golden mirror. So you guys were definitely dealing with a narcissist. This was a very one-sided relationship. I feel as though whoever... You were involved with this person's very self-absorbed. They only cared about themselves. Um, and I do feel like this person had a tendency to love bomb you. Okay, so this may have been an on and off again relationship between the two of you or, or an on and off again situation. And I feel like whenever this person would need something from you or... Um, when they felt as though you were getting away from them or being distant, they would come back around love bombing you only to put you in the same cycle of them distancing, distance, distancing th themselves again. OK, so, yeah, I feel like it, they just put you through a very, um, a very toxic cycle. All right. We're going to get more messages regarding what you need to know to heal. But first, when it comes to what this person wants you to know, we have I'm reminded of you constantly. So this narc thinks about you a lot, Taurus. And I feel as though they think about you a lot because and they're reminded of you constantly because um, you were their best supply. I truly believe that. I truly think that you love this person unconditionally. So a lot of things remind them of you, okay? And they think about you a lot. We're going to get more messages regarding what this person wants you to know. But first, let's dive a little bit deeper into your healing messages. All right. So Taurus, you have boat, seduction, love. Girl with a snake, sunglasses, I'm seeing a lot already that I don't like, the runner, Ugh, I, it's giving me, um, for some of you, like this person, the way they did you, they hurt you, they really hurt you. And I feel like for some of you, you may have even gone through like a depression or anxiety because of what this person was doing to you because I'm feeling the anxiety now, okay? Or some um, pressure in my chest. Let's continue. We have um, engagement ring, karmic relationship, self-indulgence, and soulmates, all right? At the bottom of the deck, we have date. All right. So you guys are definitely going to be meeting someone new. All right. Um, there's someone new that's going to be coming into your life. Some of you may have already started dating someone else for others of you. Um, there's someone that's going to be coming in. All right. So with this energy. All right. With both being here, spirit wants you to understand that when it comes to this person, you have or when it comes to the lessons that you were supposed to learn in regards to this connection. You've learned all that you need to learn in regards to this person. Spirit wants you to continue to progress. Now, some of you are having some closure issues. You may be having some issues with moving on. It could be your person, all right? But Spirit wants you to continue to move forward because sometimes, even if you didn't receive closure, because sometimes closure, um, you have to be okay with not getting it, okay? We have to ask ourselves like, okay, why do I want closure? Is it because I'm hoping for, 
you know, I'm hoping that we can reconcile. I'm hoping that we can make it better with closure, you know, and that that may not be the main mind frame that all of you are in, but we have to be careful when we need um closure or when we, when we're wanting closure okay spirit wants you to continue to move on because see this person they run from relationships for some of you um this person i feel as so they will run from the relationship okay they will run one and once you would try to progress forward or, or close out the cycle they would come back OK, this person has a big ego. They also have a fear of, of intimacy. They don't like getting really close to people or close to people in relationships. This is also someone that is very seductive. OK, this person, I feel as though you were very attracted to them. There was a lot of flirting between the two of you. But see, this is the type of person that would flirt with everybody. For some of you, they were hooking up with others. And dating others while they were dealing with you. This person falls into temptation very easily. And there was definitely third party interference in regards to this connection. Now, for some of you, this person may have already been involved with someone else when you started dating them. For others of you, this person started dating other people after the two of you became involved. This is someone that you thought that... Um, the two of you would, you know, end up getting married. For some of you, this person may have promised a, a marriage proposal to you. Or for others of you, um, they may have promised you or made you feel as though the two of you were going to be together for a long time. But see, this person really had no intentions of, like, locking this relationship down with, with um, marriage or anything like that. For some of you, you may have felt as though whenever you would be sexual for this with this person, like they would move on or they would, you know, like they would get what they wanted from you and go. All right. But I feel as though you had a very unconditional love for this person. And it's OK to love unconditionally. But spirit wants you to love yourself first. Practice self-love. OK. There's a lot of passion that you have for this person. I feel as though you showed them a lot of affection. There was a lot of attraction between the two of you mutually, especially in the beginning. But see, this is a karmic for some of you that you were dealing with. A lot of you have shared a past life with this person. I feel as though um, there's still some resentment in regards to how this person did you. But spirit wants you to know that you've learned the lesson. So they want you to let go and love yourself first. Okay. Hmm. With girl with a snake and self-indulgence, okay? This says a lot. Whether you are male or a female, with this girl with a snake card, you guys are empaths, okay? Look, it literally says empath and narcissist. You guys were dealing with a narcissist. I told you, you were a good supply. You were the best supply. For some of you, you may have felt as though this person was charming you or using you. OK, but see, when it comes to this, even though this person was selfish and, and spirit allowed you to go through this, OK, go through this um, terrible situation when it or allow this terrible person to come into your life. But they were teaching you to enable boundaries for some of you. You let this person get away with so much. OK, way more than you would have ever tolerated with anyone else. OK, this person, this narcissist literally broke down your boundaries purposely. They wanted you to fall in love with them deeply so that they could get what they wanted out of you so that they could self-indulge. OK, this is someone that only cares about themselves. But spirit wants you to know your self-worth. OK, Spirit wants you to take all of the time that you need to heal. Continue doing shadow work and, and know that learn to appreciate yourself and don't accept anybody in your life that's not appreciating the things that you bring to the table or, or the things that you um, do for them or just appreciate you as a person. Don't accept anybody like that into your life. When you see those red flags, let them run. Let them go. Okay. But yeah, this person was teaching you to enable boundaries, okay? I also do feel as though this person has a habit of watching you. For some of you, they may stalk you. They may ride past your house. They may stalk you on social media. They may ask people around, um, ask around about you. 
They may ask people about you, okay? I do also feel as though some of you may have saw something in regards to this person cheating or you may have found out some information. And whenever you would find out information in regards to this person, they will always try to change your perception, okay? This narcissist would use your um, empathetic ways in order to try to change your perception to gaslight you. This person would try to flip things around on you, you know, or they would accuse you of doing things that they were really doing. But this is a soulmate, Taurus. This is a soulmate. The two of you had a soul contract. But like I said, the main reason that this person was allowed into your life or brought into your life is for you to um, learn to enable boundaries, to focus on yourself first, to know your self-worth, okay, and to um, to heal, okay? And by saying, you know, to know your self-worth, I'm not saying that you guys don't know your worth, but the universe, how it works, energy is in, you know, things are black and white with the universe. When you stay in a relationship with someone that is not giving you what you deserve and they're treating you less than the way that you deserve to be treated, if you, even though... Let's say you know your worth, but you're just in love with this person, okay? And they're cheating on you or they're mistre they're treating you badly, mistreating you, and, and you stay with that person. Well, the energy that you're putting out into the universe is that, okay, well, I'm, I'm, I don't know my worth because I'm staying with this person. The universe doesn't understand, oh, sh this person knows their worth, you know, even though they're accepting things that is less than their worth. Um, but you know, they, they understand their worth. They're just in love with this. Per uh, uh, it don't work like that. There's no gray areas. There's no gray areas. So it's important for you to let this person run. Okay. Because you guys, like I said, have someone new coming into your life. And for some of you, this new person, you're going to end up marrying them. OK, so that's why, like I said, it's important to let this person go. Let them run because that's all they would do. And for some of you, I feel like they're going to try to come back. They're going to try to come back and love bomb you. So you will be tested. OK. All right. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the messages regarding what this person wants you to know. We know they're saying that they're reminded of you constantly. Let's see what else comes out. Give me more spirit in regards to what this person would like for Taurus to know. What would this person like for Taurus to know? Give me more spirit. Oh, that one fell on the floor. I can't take it. Please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. So this person is admitting they have a problem. I told you they're a narc. They're admitting they have a problem, okay? Give me more. What does this person want Taurus to know? Being apart for you, have being apart from you. Oh, it doesn't say anything like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Taurus. Being apart has been life changing for me. Okay, so this person, um, they're admitting that since the two of you have been apart, things have been like their life has changed dramatically. And I bet because, like I said, you guys were this person that you they struck gold when they met you. Okay, and you were their best supply. You were this narcissist's best supply. Give me more spirit. So I bet their life has changed dramatically. All right. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. So this person is admitting that they don't know if they can give you reciprocity. They don't know if they can give you a committed relationship. At the bottom of the deck, we have, I wish I could take back the things I said. So for some of you, this person said some very nasty or mean things to you. They for some of you, they may have intentionally tried to hurt you by, you know, with words. Give me more spirit in regards to, thank you. I've thought a lot about you lately. See, I've told you guys, they think about you a lot. For some of you, they daydream about you or you may be in their dreams. My mind and heart always comes back to you. See, this is my card of returning. This is my card of someone that is going to end up returning at some point, okay? Give me more spirit. So they're saying that their um, mind, they always think about you and you have their heart. I miss you regardless of how things seem. And it's crazy. I just heard heartless. 
<laughs> as soon as I said that they're saying that you have their heart, I heard spirits say heart, but they're heartless. <sighs> I miss you regardless of how things seem. So this person misses you a lot. This also lets me know that um, they may try to make it seem as though everything is good with them. Like they're fine without you. Like they don't think about you, but in reality, they miss you. At the bottom of the deck, we have, how could you still love me after all I've done? So they're admit admitting that they've done a lot to you. Give me, one more, give me one more card, Spirit. I feel safer in the silence, okay? So this lets me know that this person hides a lot of things from you. They hide a lot of things from you. In regards to things they're doing behind your back, in regards to their feelings for you. OK, but yeah, when it comes to this person, Taurus, they're self-absorbed. This is a narcissist. The relationship is one sided or it was one sided. And it's not just you that this person has done this. to. This is just how they are. They're a narcissist. And don't get me wrong. The word narc, the, the, the word narcissist is thrown around very lightly these days, but when you meet a true narcissist, that person can really mess up your mind. A person that messes with your head, that can last a lifetime, okay? It can last a lifetime. <sighs> Please don't ever let anybody um, mess with your head like that, Taurus. Don't, don't, don't allow it because they can mess up your per perception of everything, a narcissist can like it's it's a very dangerous, very dangerous um relationship. I really feel it so narcissists are um I feel like narcissists are like demons, like I really do I feel like they're they're sent by the devil. I really feel that way like i I feel that way because some things that a narcissist does like as far as messing with your head, like th those things can la last a lifetime. You know, they can last for years. They can change the way you view every other person that you date. That's why it's so important to get rid of them. Go no contact, leave them alone. But regardless, like I said, this person's going to come back around love bombing you, but just know they're going to love bomb you. And then guess what they're going to do right after that? They're going to run. All right, so Taurus, that is your reading. If you guys resonated with this or if you like this type of reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. My alarm, excuse me, guys. I love each and every one of you so, so much. You take care, be safe. Until next time, bye.